<laughs> Stephen out of Cold Chisel would be happy about that forever now. Let's meet a couple of the guys out of Duran. Duran, keeping my hand down here so that I don't fall off the merry-go-round. John and Andy, welcome in. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thank you for staying with us until, I mean, you're just about to go out of Australia, yeah. but to do yeah. sounds it was lovely. Yeah. Have you enjoyed, it apparently has been amazing everywhere for you. Uh, well, we've, yeah. had That's some, how amazing. we've had some fun, uh, the gigs have been incredible. The best gigs we've ever done. I mean, yeah, and the feel. audiences have been the best we've ever played to. Like the women on the street outside the hotels and the massive crowds in the right. street right. outside the gigs. Outside Would that happen to you elsewhere? Yeah, it, uh, does. it happens to, yeah, in England and Britain, you know, uh -huh. and to a point in some parts of Europe, but never, the audience reaction to the gigs has been phenomenal. No, nothing like <laughs> right. When you worked America, what did you do over there? How many spots? We got ripped down. We were there we for did, about a month. Uh, where did we do? We were there for about a month. We did the West Coast, the East Coast, right. all over. But What was the reaction in America? It was good, but it was like, much more on a court level. We were playing clubs and... Uh, it's too big. Yeah. We don't really like it there, you know. <laughs> Both your surnames are Taylor, and there yeah. is another Taylor in the band. Yeah, exactly. What relations? Any um, relations? Same Milton, really. <laughs> We've got a very handy father. Yeah. That is an amazing thing to have three yeah, of the same case. surname yeah. in a group that aren't related. Yeah, it was pure It's actually confusing at times as yeah. well. Like the towels and yeah. like I get calls for him, he gets calls for me. Right. I thought actually when, it, when he joined, um, he was with us for about a month, I didn't know his surname. <laughs> and uh, we'd already got Roger in the band and I thought he was taking the mick, you know, and he kept saying Andy right. Taylor. Yeah. Like, I was. I still think he's actually really cool. I must John. check his best. Real name is Smith or something. <laughs> yeah. how, did the, how did the group first come together? Um, the band formed about three and a half years ago mm -hmm. um, in different lineups. Um, we went through about 20 personnel changes, and then the way it is now, um, we've been together nearly two years. So it's the, the last last year, which has been the big one. You know. I noticed you on another show say that it was difficult to get Rio together, the album, because you didn't have a lot of time to do it. Oh, this Whereas, is Andy. Have you met Andy? Yeah, yes, over there. I can't see Hi, you. Andy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, was it that difficult? How much time did no. you have to get well, the, the new one together? Is, the first album was like a collection of everybody's. Uh, am I being too serious? No, 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 it's a collection of everybody's ideas. Are you serious? Yeah, it's really difficult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first part was like a collection of like five guys' ideas over what? 20 years of ideas, I suppose, when you sort of sum it together. Sure. The second album we had to write in one month. So the, there was a slightly different approach, whereas... <laughs> still in, still in. It's the birds. Keep going. Um, <laughs> so, and like, we had to write this album in one month. I said, okay, boys, write an album, you've got one month. So he said, oh, well, what sort of album should we write? And we, we thought, should we go more commercial? Should we take it heavier, more disco oriented? But then we just said, oh, you know, we just write another set of songs, and it just came much easier. Yeah, yeah. When we recorded it, it just. Are you as happy with the second album, uh, Rio, as you were? It's so much better than the first one. It's really. better. Oh, really, yeah. I mean, we didn't realise, when we went out to, to write it, we didn't realise how much... We'd been on tour for, like, the last six months of uh, 81, and we got... We were so much more cohesive, we were playing together so much more as a band, and we put so much more strength there. It's, the whole album works a hell of a lot better. It's, it's going to... I think it's going to surprise a lot of people, actually. We think we're just a lightweight pop band. Or whatever. And it's a little bit heavier than that. Yeah, it's more, more sophisticated. <laughs> and more Why the name Rio? It apparently is not the name of the town, but a uh, name of a girl. Yeah. A girl who's it's on the album cover. And one of the choruses in the song is her name is Rio. Yeah, so that find that. the lady. Um, she's it's a just cartoon. a picture. <laughs> it's an actual, like, it's by it's a, a guy called Nargle, American artist. And it's like a cartoon, but not a silly cartoon. Yeah, like, yeah he does all, like, illustrations in Playboy. Right. And, like, yeah, we really like his stuff and we decided to go for it and get him to do the cover for us. It cost us a lot of money, but it's really nice. And we've all got Prince for him, so... Yeah, you met some nice people in Australia since you've yeah, been here? Yeah, but, oh, You've got someone this, to say this, hello. This goes out to Melbourne. I'd just like to say hi to Corinne. Who? <laughs> <laughs> say it again. Corinne. Corinne in Melbourne. Corinne in Melbourne. She'd be one of the most popular girls in the whole country after saying that. She's pretty popular. You want to bet? Involved. You want to bet? <laughs> You did some film clips in Sri Lanka before coming here. Yeah. They are of songs off Rio. Yeah, right. It's the next thing is going to be called Hungry Like the Wolf. Mm -hmm. And we did that video there. Oh. I got that one in, didn't I? <laughs> uh, and that's sort of like a um, mini feature film. Right. And there's another couple of tracks on it. It's all working <laughs> up. We've been doing some documentary film out here as well because we're going to put oh, out a uh, sort of 
hour long video yeah. uh, before Christmas, hopefully, just like all over the place. I mean, as I say, we went out on a boat in the bay. Yeah, heard like, about that. The other day, and got that on that film. That was fun. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it, I think they're going to be really good, the videos. We haven't actually seen them yet, but uh, they were great fun to make, and the place is amazing. Will any of the new videos be similar to a video we saw of girls on film, or some people have seen? Uh, well, well it's a fair bit of smut in it, you know. Yeah. I mean, you have to have a bit. <laughs> well, but, uh, the thing is, we just don't base it with perverts, so <laughs> the content of the video has to go along these lines at some time. Yeah, we have to have girls in the videos yeah, for some reason. Gotta, I don't know why. Let's have a look at a video of yours now as we go around here at the Harborside Amusement Park on the merry-go-round. We'll look at careless memories. Oh, no. And thank you very it's much, an awful John video. and Andy. <laughs> but, well, listen, we can't show the other one in for you. Why not? Let's, let's go. <laughs> Too many. Somebody stop.